ease of travel has shaped the growth of the world's largest cities. Today, that next big step for a metropolis is establishing an airport. So just how valuable are airports to a growing city? Well, every century, the dominating mode of transportation tends to dictate the speed of development. The 18th century had boats and seaports. The 19th century relied on railroads. The 20th century saw the introduction of highways, and now the 21st century is dominated by air travel. In all of those cases, major travel hubs led to significant regional development, and today, airports are no different. Although establishing an airport is a massive investment, it can bring billions of dollars into the local economy and promotes growth in valuable industries. Multiple studies and an analysis by the Atlantic City Lab show a close connection between the number of airport passengers a city hosts per year and growth in the regional economy and employment figures. And this data is not specific to the number of flights or the amount of cargo passing through an airport city, but the actual number of passengers. The busiest airport in the world is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and alone it generates a state economic impact of roughly $70 billion a year and benefits the region with nearly half a million jobs, accounting for one in seven. This type of reliance on airports for a city's growth is what some researchers believe is the beginning of an aerotropolis future. An aerotropolis is a metropolitan region dominated by and dependent on a central airport. This is essentially seen as the next step in the globalization of the world by way of travel. As travel gets cheaper and more integral to the global economy, more metropolitan regions are expected to incorporate airports, which would connect to major hubs across the country. Not unlike seaports of the past, aerotropolis cities would allow rapid growth, especially in cases where more direct or local transit is needed. Researchers show that the number of flights and passengers is correlated to the number of college graduates in a city and its reliance on knowledge-based industries over manufacturing, both factors which signify dramatic economic growth. This aerotropolis model has already been attempted in a few places around the world, most notably California. San Diego County has received a federal grant to develop an aerotropolis system that could work for similar regional areas. The primary Brownfield Municipal Airport is expected to provide more than half a billion dollars every year just to the San Diego economy. Although the Aerotropolis future is still in its early research stages, the rapid growth of airport-based cities is a hallmark of American development. Roughly half of all airports in the world are located in the United States, which has over 19,000 in total. This huge amount makes it easy for regions to invest in their local airport and undoubtedly bring millions, if not billions, into the local economy. So what does a potential aerotropolis look like? One of the closest may be the Hartsfield-Jackson Airport, which serves 100 million passengers a year. Learn more about how it became so enormous and efficient and what that means to the rest of the world. A direct flight can only transport people from a single city to a single destination and limits the total number of passengers while also forcing planes to complete longer trips at the expense of more fuel. The hub and spoke system establishes a centralized location that planes fly to and from, allowing multiple planes to pick up passengers from different locations to be deposited at a central hub. Thanks for watching Secret Daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day.